So nearby sharing or nearby share is the latest attempt to give Android owners and users a proper rival to Apple's AirDrop. In this video, we're going to give you a glimpse of the upcoming feature and find out if it really is Android's answer to AirDrop. Thanks for watching 9to5Google on YouTube. Remember to thumbs up, hit subscribe and enable notifications with the bell icon to be among the first to watch our upcoming videos. So we've seen Android Beam bite the dust in recent months. Well, this is the eventual replacement. The feature though is not technically available widely just yet. Unlike the various competitors we've seen from Samsung and others, Nearby Share relies on Google Play services rather than an app itself, and it's baked into the OS, which means you probably won't need to do anything, it will just be there as a new sharing option. With Apple taking tons of design cues from Android in iOS 14, it's only right that Android fans should get an imitation of their own on this side of the fence, and it's one we've been waiting a long time for. So, as we said, nearby sharing is not new, but it is technically rolling out in a limited beta test for those enrolled on the Google Play Services beta. We'll leave links for you to enroll yourself down in the video description below, but being enrolled doesn't guarantee that you'll have the option on your device should you do so. So once you've updated, should you have nearby sharing available, you can enable it within device settings or a quick way to check if you do have it is to go to the quick toggle in your notifications shade. It's instantly recognizable as a small entwined rope icon. Alternative, like we said, you can head into your device settings and search for nearby sharing. This should allow you to activate the option if you do have it available as part of the most recent Google Play services beta update. Once you have activated the option on your device, you can just tap the notification toggle to initiate a wireless transfer. Although we think a simpler method is to just select the option within your share sheet if you do want to share a specific item. This means you won't have to use a file manager to access files once you have it enabled. Now, because nearby sharing integrates with the Android share sheet, instead of an unfamiliar interface, it's instantly recognizable and you won't get lost. You won't get lost or confused. It's simple and consistent with the current share sheet implementation. When sharing a file, the share sheet will morph to show you any nearby devices underneath. You can then simply select a person or device as long as it's activated you want to send your file to. On the receiving device, you simply have to accept the transfer, which can appear as a notification when toggling the quick notification toggle. Without accepting the transfer, the process will simply fail, leaving you to try or start again. The progress of your transfer will be shown within the same pane, but with a circular progress bar with the connection ID and contact or profile icon around that. This will be familiar to anyone that's used AirDrop previously with Apple hardware, and there is no shame in taking some design cues from iOS and macOS when it's popular, works well, and of course, it's just easy to use. You do get some added controls though, including the ability to allow only nearby contacts or selected contacts see your nearby sharing availability or visibility. Like AirDrop, you can just make your device completely hidden for full privacy controls though. If you do prefer changing your display name, you can also change this to anything you like. This will only be visible if you make yourself visible though to all contacts. As for compatibility, we've managed to get nearby sharing enabled on a mixture of Android One, Android Go, and third-party OEM devices. Because the feature is reliant on Google Play services to function, it should be easy for Google to push out an update to all compatible Android hardware running the most recent versions of the Play Store, and at least Android 6.0 or over. Also, having an internet connection is not a precursor to using nearby sharing either. You can utilize mobile data, Wi-Fi, or just use no data connection at all. The initial handshake though between devices does use Bluetooth, which means you can't actually use nearby sharing when in aeroplane mode though. Just something to know if you did wonder how that would work. Testing with Wi-Fi disabled on our devices doesn't seem to affect data transfer speeds too much either. This is especially useful if you want to share files between devices and don't have a stable network or data connection to do so. And I think it's probably one of the biggest draws of nearby share from the outside. We also know for a fact that Chromebooks and the Chrome browser look likely to add the ability to share files and photos wirelessly too. Now this would allow nearby sharing to leapfrog airdrop in install base probably almost overnight. Being able to share files from Mac or Windows desktops, laptops, and even Chromebooks to mobile or vice versa will make file sharing almost effortless and something that AirDrop just can't compete with. Now, some of you might be wondering if nearby sharing works directly with AirDrop or at least has some integration. 
Well, as you'd expect, it doesn't work and is unlikely to ever work with iOS hardware. That is a shame, but at least when functionality does come to Google Chrome, you'll technically have better overall device compatibility anyway. Now a little bit of the nitty gritty, transfer speeds should rely on your own device Wi-Fi antennas, but in our testing a two gigabyte MP4 video file sent from one device to another in around two minutes and 55 seconds. Smaller files are pretty much instantaneous though, so overall pretty fast. So some of you are probably wondering how do I get nearby sharing on my device then? Well, as we mentioned, the wireless file sharing protocol is only available to those signed up to the Google Play services beta. That doesn't also guarantee that you'll gain the option in your device though. As this is part of a very limited beta test, it is a bit of a lottery at the moment. And we've only noticed it running on devices running Android 10 at this stage. And that doesn't look like the option is available on all devices running the Android 11 beta either. With that said though, nearby sharing looks like the real deal. It really is impressive and even better still, it doesn't have the hardware limitations of AirDrop. This is a real competitor and um, well, let's hope it rolls out more widely soon. That said, if you have any questions, then be sure to pop them down in the comments section below and we'll do our very best to answer them. But yeah, until next time, this is Damien with 95 Google saying thanks for watching and I will speak to you later.